नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम जेवियंस डॉक्टर नीरज धोलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज द हिस्ट्री एंड स्कोप ऑफ द स्टेम सेल्स सो दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी so uh, we have already discussed about uh, the stem cells so what are the stem cells what are the various types of the stem cells uh, what are the characteristics of the stem cells okay so you are very well aware about the stem cells so uh, in the in this lecture we will discuss that that how these stem cells comes in, in comes into the existence and uh, what is its its scope means how can you use the stem cells and what is the future of the stem cell research so uh, the uh, earlier works the scientists primarily work uh, with two kinds of the stem cells we have already uh, discussed that one is the embryonic stem cells and second is the adult stem cells okay so adult stem cells or you can say the non non embryonic stem cells or sometimes you can say the somatic stem cells so so uh, the early uh, embryonic stem cells uh, were derived from uh, the mouse embryos okay so this was 1981 when uh, the scientists derived the embryonic stem cells from uh, the early uh, mouse embryos uh, nearly in 19 uh, 1981 so uh, when the scientists uh, derived the mouse stem cells then this discovery Uh, laid a path to to identify and to isolate uh, the human embryonic stem cells from the uh, human embryos so uh, uh, it was discovered in 1990 1998 uh, a method of uh, derive stem cells from human embryos and grow uh, the cells in the laboratory so the cells uh, were called the human embryonic stem cells and uh, the embryos used in these series were created uh, means they they were created for the reproduction purposes through the in vitro fertilization processes so when they were no longer uh, uh, needed for that purpose they were donated for the research uh, with the uh, uh, ethics with the uh, proper uh, uh, ethics uh, followed for the for that so the doctors concerned forms uh, inform consent to the doctors so in uh, 2006 the the researchers made uh, a next breakthrough in the research of the stem cells so they they uh, genetically modified or reprogrammed the some specific types of adult cells and uh, they they uh, shown the characteristics Uh, like the stem cells okay so this new type of stem cells is is now uh, known as uh, induced pluripotent stem cells okay so you have already studied about the induced pluripotent pluripotent stem cells uh, what are they so you know the capacity uh, and, and the scope of the stem cells because because in, in the living organism the embryo of 3 to 5 days old uh, which is known as the blastocyst so so the inner cells uh, of the blastocyst give rise to the entire body of an, an animal okay so they can make uh, they makes various types of the stem cells uh, various types of the cells okay like heart cells lung cells uh, or the gametes and the other tissues all of uh, made by by them by that cells so uh, likewise in uh, some of the uh, organs of uh, or uh, tissues of our body some cells are there okay and uh, in some adult tissues such as the the bone the muscle the brain and discrete population of adult stem cells uh, are there and they uh, regenerate or they uh, replaces the cells that are lost through through the uh, any injury or any damage or any 
disease condition. So the cells which are damaged in, in that tissues or that organs are replaced by the adult stem cells. So uh, the their uh, ability uh, to re to regenerate the uh, uh, cells and uh, is used uh, for uh, the treating the diseases. Okay, so such as the diabetes and heart diseases uh, and other diseases, it, it it is used and it can be used. So uh, recently, the the stem cell research is is a growing field. And much of the work remains to be done in the laboratory and the clinic. Uh, clinic to understand how to use these cells for the cell-based therapies and to treat the diseases. Okay, so you you read it under the regenerative medicines. Okay, so um, in the research, the in the laboratories, the scientists are are in uh, growing phase and they are learning about the cells. What are their their properties and uh, how they they can differentiate into a specific types of the cell types? So the stem cells um, uh, uh, they are also used in various other purposes like to, to screening the drugs and to to making the uh, various types of the model systems to study the uh, uh, scientific uh, research. Okay, so uh, as you know that they are in, they are in the growing field and and uh, about uh, how and uh, they are uh, uh, this is a field of study that how an organism develops. So in the developmental biology, you you read the various uh, procedures and various uh, steps how an organism develop, but it is still a growing field. That a, a single cell that is zygote how it it uh, forms a complete organism, a, a complete animal, and they, how uh, they replaces the damaged cells uh, in the uh, in the uh, tissues and organs. So the stem cell research is one of the most fascinating area uh, of the biology. Okay, so uh, these so some stem cells. Uh, such as uh, the adult stem cells in the uh, bone marrow or in the peripheral blood. So they are used uh, uh, in the clinical therapies for uh, over 40 years. Uh, so other therapies utilizing these stem cells uh, like the skin replacement from the adult stem cells uh, and the, the uh, hair follicles is Harvested from the patient and and that is uh, 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 grown artificially to produce these skin grafts. Okay, so other clinical uh, trials for the the neuro, uh, neuronal damage, the disease, and other diseases, the uh, the stem cells are uh, in the uh, growing uh, phase. So uh, this was uh, the your topic and hope you are satisfied with this detail session. And if you have any query, please write in the comment box and I will resolve your query. And this uh, session is powered by Digital Version 2, Jyoti Vidyapit, Women's University, Jaipur. Thank you.